Oh, he is so impressive. And as I said, I mentioned he does look like he is in must because I could see he is, uh, for one, he's dripping heavily between his legs. Um, you'll see there's a lot of moisture. Do you see that? Now that is a very, very key sign that he is in must. Let's have a look. I'm going to try to get to him. Tracy, some of these male elephants, the big bulls, can go into must for for a number of weeks. It, it can last very, very long. Um, and a few times a year. So let's, uh, let's see. So Tracy, yeah, they can go into must for long periods of time. Um, often what happens is these big males, what they do is they will suppress, they will suppress must in younger bulls. Oh, I can smell him actually. Now just have a look between his legs. You can see him dripping actually at the moment. And that's, it's purely the increase in testosterone. They secrete a lot of urine in that at the moment. Um, and they also secrete a substance f from the temporal glands. You can probably see just on the side of his head there at the moment he is sweating from those temporal glands. Look at his eye. It looks like he, he's got a bit of an abscess or something on the side of his eye there. Maybe it's just all the sand that he's been throwing on himself. I think maybe that's just it. A lot of sand. Oh, that's exactly what it is. Hello, big guy. Oh, that is... Oh, he's displaying beautifully for us. Wow, I can smell him. Very, very strong, musty smell. I'm not going to talk too much. Let's just sit quietly and enjoy this. Listen to the birds around us. starting to walk towards us so I think he's deciding that okay I'll move out your way let's just see oh, this is really really special I think he's just smelling us at the moment let's see if he picks up more sand That's it. Wow. <laughs> Maria, the elephant have very have a very, very good sense of smell. Oh, this is really special. I'm just gonna sit quietly again. It is quite close to us. This is very, very special. This is amazing. It's almost like he's just testing us. He just wants to know what we're doing here. Are we a threat? So I'm trying to keep my voice very calm, very low. Let's just see how he reacts. Here we go. Don't worry, I won't follow you anymore if you decide to turn around, I promise. Oh, that is <laughs> amazing to see him throw the sand on himself. We know they do that to try and get rid of all the flies and the... Oh. Flies and little... Little insects that sit on them. Constantly throwing some sand. He's just resting now. See how he's leaning to one side. It's often a sign that they're resting. 
flapping the one ear, maybe just something bothering him. It wasn't a sign of aggression there at all. Madison, you asked, is this bull possibly missing his eye? Now, having a look there, that left eye of his, you know what, I do think he's possibly blind, Madison, in that left eye. It looks like something happened to his left eye. That's very interesting. But he is an old bull. This bull is probably close to 45, 50 years old. Judging by his size, that huge skull, look how he's resting his trunk on his tusk. He's still just smelling us. I can't tell you what an incredible moment something like this is because it's, I mean, it's it's incredibly humbling to be able to sit this close to a magnificent bull elephant this size and, and get to appreciate him. And he's walking a bit closer. I just, it, it's interesting, he's not showing any signs of aggression, but he's taking a few steps closer but also you've got to be careful with a big bull like this who is in must. You've got to watch out and just be respectful of them. But he hasn't shown me any sign that he's unhappy or anything just yet. Maybe he's just looking for company. <laughs> but, um, but I am ready to move if I have to. Yes, Cameron, um, these big male elephants, not necessarily just when they are in mast but usually they do move around on their own quite a lot you might get you might get males and um, that move around in small groups possibly have younger males follow this male because a big male like this will teach the younger males how to be successful and how to find females where to look for the best food but it is not unusual to find a big old male like this by himself, not just when he's in must. But generally they do move around by themselves. Rebecca, I do think so. I think this male will, still, will definitely be, be able to mate successfully. And judging by the must that is in at the moment, um, I think he's he's definitely ready to to mate with some females. 